Hello there beautiful people, I hope you're doing well and welcome back again to On How Channel. For people that don't know, my name is Enes, I'm working for you, so if you have any questions, any video requests, make sure to drop them below in the comment and I will be happy to make a video for you. And for people that do know, welcome back and you already know, you should be a witness to over 150 videos I made so far on Shopify customization because they were mostly requested by you guys. I mean subscribers and some people not even subscribers but I'm fine with that. I still make the video for them. Just a like button, that's all I'm asking. Or actually, if you are interested in Shopify customization, you want to be an expert, why not subscribe to the channel, man? I don't have anything to sell. I don't sell any courses, never will. I don't have any paid memberships. I don't have anything on the channel that will make money off you. Everything I do create, including the codes and the videos, I post them completely free on the channel. So it's a win-win situation. You just have to skip around some advertisements. But well, that's the case for most of the videos. Now, if not all of them, including the entertainment ones you like to watch, which is I don't do, I create some value that will help you in your personal life or career. And here I am again back with another requested video which is how to show the account login icon on the mobile on your Shopify store. I mean the customer account login uh, because on the mobile it does not show up and only it does only show up on the desktop. Once you switch the mobile it does not show up. It only shows the icon uh, for the cart and the search icon as well. So in this video, I will show you how to show the account, customer, I mean customer account login icon on the mobile by using our own custom code. And without any more talking, let's just jump to it. As you can see, this is the Shopify dashboard. They have here down team, which is the one I do demonstrations on because it's the most used one, also is the most requested one. But if I scroll down in here, I have every other free Shopify team, the most used ones again, which is Refresh, Spotlight, Taste, Sense, and Trade. And if you are wondering why is that, because I do actually try each trick on my channel on all of these teams. So even if you're not using down team, using one of these, it should work for you just fine. Even if it didn't, just drop me a comment. I will be happy to help you out. And I just have to say this in the beginning so I give you that peace of mind because you're going to see me doing it on down team and you might be thinking, oh, maybe it's not working for the others. No, it is. So no worries. With that out of the way, let's just get to it and show you how to show the customer account login icon on the mobile for your Shopify store. And this is the Shopify store. I do all the tutorials. So everything you see in the Shopify store, I did it in videos. Literally every little thing in the Shopify store, I did it in tutorials. So if you saw anything that you liked and you think it looks interesting and you want to apply it on your Shopify store, then just check out the channel because that video is already done and made and posted. Because once you see the thing here, that means I did it in one of my previous videos. Because I don't remove the changes that I do in the videos. I keep them, including the one that you are watching right now, which is this little guy right here. Uh, search bar as well, make sure to check out the channel. So <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. This icon will be gone on the mobile. So let me switch to the mobile so you can see that. Here we go. We are 14, yeah, 14 Pro Max. And as you can see, it's gone the icon. So it only shows the cart icon and the search icon. For the customer to click on the login account, he needs to click on the drawer menu. And then here you will see it right here. It's behind this uh, thing because it's develop on store. So in this video, I will show you how to show it here between those two icons. So it will show up just like on the desktop in here. So the first thing you're going to do is get back to Shopify dashboard. If you are already in Shopify dashboard, click on the three dots and click on uh, edit code. And it will take you to the code editor for your Shopify team. And in here, we need to find a, a specific file. Instead of looking at the folders, you might get dizzy. <laughs> Just use the search bar at the top left corner. Then type in, again, I have to mention this. So it's going to be either base.css or team.css or style.css. Most of the teams now use base.css. It's just the name that's different. But most of them, as I said, use base.css. If you cannot find them, then it's team or it's style. I know in here it's base on most of these teams they use base. After that, click on base.css, bunch of CSS code will show up. Scroll all the way down. Let me drag this to the bottom of the file and you will see uh, you need some line here because we need to pass in some space, so uh, some code, so we need some space. Uh, in order to create that space, click front of the last thing in here in the file, then hit enter on your keyboard. And here we go. We have a completely new line, nothing on it, because I said 
we need to pass in some code. In order to get that code, you need to hire a developer, pay him, wait 24 hours, then he get back to you with the code, then get back to this video. I'm waiting. I'm just joking. Scroll down the description box and you will see a link named as code. Simply click on it and it will take you to this beautiful page with this very short code. And this code again is completely free. No pay please, no share please, not like that. Just a like button if this video helped you up. So select the whole code in here, make sure to select the closing brackets, right click, copy, get back in here, paste it at the bottom of the file, the space we did create, click on the save button, wait for a couple of seconds, we will get back in here, let me switch to the mobile first, as you can see, there is no icon in here for the login, let's just reload the page and see, and ta-da, here it is. It shows up out of nowhere as you can see. So we have the card icon, the customer account login icon, and then the search icon. And that's how you show the customer account login icon on the mobile on your Shopify store by using a very short code. So if you have any questions, make sure to drop them below. But for now, I think my job it is done. So thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one.